Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man guys. Before I begin, I want to let you know that this video is going to be, it's so important that I don't want people to, don't fast forward through it, don't go to the very end um, to look for information. You have to watch the whole thing because this is very important and if anything is misunderstood, it can be highly dangerous and damaging to your health. So without further ado, I will also let you know, I am not giving you any medical advice. Please consult your physicians um, about any of your medical needs and I'm not making any medical claims. Now, with that being said, before I begin also, I wanna ask my viewers, and I know it's a pain in the butt, but I want you guys to go to rumble.com and try to sign up for an account because you're gonna find me there. You're gonna find me under The Hydrogen Man and there's videos that I can do there and tell you things that I'm technically not allowed to say here. So I'm not gonna say them here and you guys are just gonna have to figure it out, but I have scientific data and apparently I can't even show that because even that will, is apparently not accepted here. But with that being said, go ahead and go to Rumble and check out videos that I'm gonna be releasing over there and I'll try to notify here through YouTube at times also about things that I cannot say. But without further ado, let me show you something that in my opinion, again, just my opinion, is amazing for your health. It's part of my protocol. I absolutely love it. And as far as data, I can't really give you again the data, but let me tell you what we're gonna be doing. Uh, what you really wanna do is, one, before we go into this, is swish your mouth with water really vigorously for 30 seconds, spit out that water and then just get water again. It can literally be tap water and then you can gargle for about 30 seconds while you say the vowels, A-E-I-O-U. And that apparently is really, really good. I will not say what for, because again, I, there are certain things I can't say, but there's a lot of scientific data coming out from Japan. I really wish I could share it with you and I am gonna share it with you, but you're gonna have to go elsewhere to hear the data. And it is fascinating, mind blowing. I cannot believe that we're not hearing this everywhere. And again, backed by science, but let's go into this. I'm gonna show you what I am doing. And so this is something that I would do once a day, though the Japanese data says to do it twice a day if you can, but I'm only doing it once a day. I do it at night before I go to bed because there's little things that get trapped up in your sinuses and in your mouth and throat. And if you can clean them before they spread even more and cause further issues. And this is how I'm doing it. First, I get what's called the neti. I will put links down below, at least I'll try to, both in the comment area and the description area so you know where to buy the stuff you're gonna need. And this is the stuff you're gonna need. You're gonna need a neti pot. You're gonna need food grade hydrogen peroxide. It depends on the percentage. Again, I cannot emphasize enough to do this correctly. Um, this one that I have is about 36 to 40% hydrogen peroxide food grade. Do not use anything that is not food grade for this, guys. Again, it's dangerous to put certain things in your sinuses. This will be one of them if you don't know the proper levels. And the level that I'm gonna be using, that in my opinion is the level that is safe, is 0.1%. And I'm gonna show you how I'm making that today. And then I'm gonna show you a chart here in a little bit. So again, stick around throughout this entire video. The other one, povidone iodine. If you look really closely, povidone, guys, that's the kind you want, and you want it to be 10%. As you see here, it says 10%. This is something very important to have in your house, and we'll talk a little bit about this, but I'm not gonna give too much data on this video either, but we'll talk a little bit about it. It's something that you don't wanna use regularly. You only use it in certain cases, which again, I probably can't say here, so I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing on the regular just to stay healthy. So. If you look real closely, you're gonna to wanna to fill this up to right here where it says eight ounces. So we're talking eight ounces of not any kind of water, guys. We're talking distilled water. Absolutely has to be distilled. Don't think that you can put tap water in this. Don't think you can just put normal filtered water in this. If you get any contamination in this water and it goes up in your sinuses, it's bad news. So distilled water, why? Well, not only because the instructions say so, uh, and anybody in the medical field would understand that that's the best way to go and the safest way to go, but because it's super clean, guys, you want super clean water to go up in your sinuses. If you want it warm, that's, I literally take it right out of my distiller. Does it have to be warm? No, it doesn't have to be warm. Would I heat it up in the microwave? I would not use the microwave to heat up the water. So you'd have to put it in a pot or something of that nature. Being warm just makes it feel more comfortable. If it's cool or room temperature, is it gonna hurt you? No, but it will feel a little weird going through the sinuses because I've done that. So once I personally fill it up to eight ounces with distilled water, then I put one of these packets that come with it. This basically is saline, guys. 
Do not try to use this stuff without saline solution. I've done it, it is painful, it is not fun. If you wanna do it, <laughs> that's on you, but I'm not gonna do that. I put one of these packets, I have two here because I've been using them, these are already open. But anyway, so I put one of these in here. If you wanna make your own saline solution, again, that's up to you. I will be giving further details you know, on Rumble. But for right now, I put the eight ounces, we put one saline packet. Okay, so now I have a saline nice solution in here. Now for my sinuses, I'm taking this food grade hydrogen peroxide and I'm gonna use one eighth of a teaspoon, which is very small. This is not even an eighth. In fact, this is one fourth. This is the wrong size, but this is all I have right now. So I only fill it up halfway. And when I fill it up halfway with the hydrogen peroxide, I put that in the water. So now I have water with saline and a tiny little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Why hydrogen peroxide? Well, not just because I'm the hydrogen man, but because guys, it has more oxygen. It's actually an additional oxygen molecule. We're talking H2O2. Oxygen is highly oxidative. It's really good at killing things. That's what oxidation does. And so I'm not gonna go into what it can kill and what the data says that it can kill. I'm just gonna tell you that's what I'm doing. Up to you whether you wanna do this. But absolutely, again, distilled water, the right amount of hydrogen peroxide, and the saline and then once I do that I put this onto my right nostril and make sure that this is washed and clean super good before usage okay and then I kind of will suction cup my right nostril and then I'm going to tilt my head to the left with this going along with it and the water you literally open your mouth and the water will flow through your sinuses from your right nostril all the way through your sinus to your left nostril and start pouring out as it's using up, I can kind of see the water level going down. I'll stop and then I'll have tissues right here next to me because I do it by the sink. And then when you're gonna blow your nose, guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. Be so careful. So here's where my tissue would be usually. Because I hurt myself and I already knew I was supposed to be careful and I felt it in my eardrum because the water and the pressure, everything changes. And so just blow really gently, guys. Again, I cannot, I'm really trying to be cautious with everybody here. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves. And so I blow very gently. And after I kind of clean out my nose, I go back to the neti again on the right nostril, tilt my head left uh, over the sink. And then I use a third of the water. So each time I'm using a, th a third, because I do it three times. So the second time I stop again, I clean my nose again by very gently blowing my nose. And then the third time. Now guys, in my opinion, this is just amazing for health in general. I don't think people understand how dirty your sinuses can get. There are many people who've actually had sinus issues and that I even personally know, and they've done this protocol daily, every night before you go to bed. Have you ever gone to bed and you wake up and you literally wake up sick? Because you can get little stuff clogged up in your sinuses, guys, and it begins to grow all night. That's why you clean your mouth, then you clean your throat. And by the way, in that order, don't swish the water in your mouth and then gargle with that same water. That can actually introduce different things into the throat. So you swish your mouth really hard, like really vigorously for 30 seconds, spit it out, then get fresh water, then gargle, spit it out. Then we do, you know, this sinus rinse. I also do a little part of the protocol that, that I'm doing, you don't have to do it. I only do it once in a while. I don't do it completely regularly as I'll use like a normal glass, something like this and I'll put about, you know, four ounces, maybe six ounces of water, and then on this one, I'll add, uh, I'll do actually one-fourth of hydrogen peroxide from this percentage, 36 to 40%. percent I'm, I'm gonna show you a chart on the different percentages. And then that one, I just swish my mouth and gargle with. Um, during the day, I'll just use regular tap water just to swish my mouth, spit it, gargle, spit it out, maybe three, four times during the day whenever I go to wash my hands. It's really easy, it's real simple. I only do this once a day. Technically twice a day in the morning and night would probably be better, but just because you know we're in a hurry and I don't wanna say that I'm lazy, but maybe a little bit. And But I definitely do this at night before I go to bed as a minimum, clean myself up before I go to bed. I brush my teeth, I floss, I take a shower, I do my neti rinse. I do my hydrogen peroxide mouth rinse and gargle. I mean, I really clean up all my orifices, as they say, including you can even do the ears. And that's where I have this little eardropper and you can use about 1.5% hydrogen peroxide. I know there's 3% out there and you can dilute it. So you put, you know, it would be like one cup of 3% to one cup of distilled water and then you mix that together and then you'd have 1.5%. So that's how you do the sinus rinse. If you happen to, I don't know, catch something out there again, I'm not gonna say what you're catching, 
do these things also, there is again some very, very fascinating data about that, about what it can do, how it can help uh, the body heal. I don't know if you guys have seen Japan's numbers at this time. And again, I wish I could show you a lot of this stuff, but so that's where we're at. And I'm just telling you, if you go to Rumble, it's gonna really help me too, because I want you guys to possibly migrate over there. And then I can really open up and share things that I really wanna share with you guys. But now, let me show you the chart. So now that you guys hopefully have an understanding of this, and I'll try to put links for povidone iodine. I'm gonna put links for food grade hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna put links for the Neti. And let me show you what else we've got going on here, guys, because this is pretty awesome. Okay, here's the chart right here. So you guys might want to write this down or take a screenshot or whatever you got to do. But see, it shows you the percentage of hydrogen peroxide that you would use. Um, or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the percentage that you would use and then how much of that you would, you know, how much of the hydrogen peroxide you would use depending on the percentages to how much water. And it says filtered water here. We're, technically, we're going to be doing saline solution. We're doing eight ounces. So here's my category right here roughly 36% hydrogen peroxide. I'm not using a fourth because that's for 15 ounces. I'm using just about half of that. I'm at eight ounces. So that's why I'm using one eighth. It's close enough, you know, uh, for me. And then obviously this is ending up at the 0.1% because this is the percentage that I would use for my sinus rinse, which is very different than using the kind you'd use in the ears or the kind that you would use like in your mouth. Because guys, in your sinuses, let me tell you right now, Hydrogen peroxide can be very dangerous. You do not want to use high, it can burn you, like burn you like you don't even know. I've talked about oxygen before, and I think oxygen's awesome as long as you know how to use it. Anytime you use it incorrectly, it is highly, highly dangerous. But if used properly, this stuff can be absolutely incredible. So this is the protocol. I hope that this is helping all you guys understand what I'm really trying to show you guys here. But again, sign up at Rumble, it sucks to do it, I know it does. I'm not really fond of going over there either and whatnot because it's just, I'm so used to YouTube. But go over there and just sign up guys. There's a lot of good information over there that you can, you know, uh, check out. And I'm, I'm just, I'm all about freedom, the, you know, like free speech. Um, I think that's important. I believe what, you know, what quote unquote, a lot of ancient scriptures would say when they say that God gave us what's called free will, free choice. And I think freedom is a beautiful thing. And obviously, I'm not free to tell you what I want to tell you here, but it's okay. It's no big deal. We'll figure it out. Go to Rumble and also support the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. It helps, it helps support what I'm doing here so that I can continue to do more for you. And like I said, I have so much interesting information from Japan that I just, I can't emphasize it enough. So hopefully I, I already did. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video.